Well, turning a pretty profit, hard times have failed to blemish the British beauty industry. The skincare market alone has grown by a quarter over the past five years. So is it time to give your portfolio a cosmetic lift? The UK president of trade body CEW joins us live to assess the future of beauty. An aging population, a rising male customer base and women retiring later are all leading to a growth spurt in one of Britain's less talked about industries, beauty and cosmetics. The London College of Beauty Therapy says it's fast catching up with the lucrative fashion industry with an annual value of £15.4 billion compared to fashion's £21 billion. It also employs more people with almost a million people working in hair salons, nail bars and other beauty outlets. Compare that to the 816,000 people working in fashion. Well, my next guest says that all the trends suggest the beauty industry can sustain its growth spurt. Caroline Neville is president of the trade body Cosmetic Executive Women UK and joins us in the studio. And I know that you've just had a very big event and you've showcased many different products. But so tell me how the crisis, we always speak about how it's impacting businesses of all shapes and sizes. What sort of impact has it had on your industry? Well, I think the beauty industry has held up extremely well. Um, many people think that the last thing that women want to give up are their small treats. And I subscribe to that, uh, in part. But I think there, there are other factors. And we have a lot of uh, women who are remaining in the workplace for longer. And they want to look just as good as their younger counterparts. And uh, we're going to see more yeah. of that. So I think that's global. That's Women a global are thing. working longer and they want to look as good as they can. Beauty is about confidence. So are you saying that uh, beauty is uh, recession proof? <laughs> you know what? I would say that. I think there's a lot of truth in what you say. Um, look at the rise of of the nail industry yeah. you know it's unbelievable that um, we're selling so many new nail products and nail colors and we have a 16 percent increase in opening of nail salons that may be something to do with the, the old lipstick factor right now it's the nail factor we are having um, a rise again in small treats great colors for your nails so which brands are doing particularly well right now what do customers want what do they need I think the big focus is on skincare mm. this is where all the interest is um, and I think we have a very well educated consumer the beauty press have done a great job with educating us we know we have to take care of our skin from a much earlier age and um, we're looking for products I think which have a, a, a dual purpose a product which not only uh, treats your skin yeah. but also covers maybe some blemishes evens a, a tone yeah. gives some highlighting to the skin so I, I think you have to look at the skincare area uh, I'm, I'm just curious are you fi I mean are businesses finding it um, in perhaps more difficult um, to deal with customer demands. I mean, are women, are people in general, getting a little bit smarter when it comes to what they want in terms of distinguishing what could be more of a gimmick and buying on the label versus, say, uh, the scientific substance of it? I certainly think that the British consumer is well educated as far as beauty products and, and what there are out there and what it does. Right now, I think there's an emphasis on what it delivers and I think the price is also a factor, mm. although when I look and see how tremendous and how buoyant the industry is, one does wonder. But I do think the, I do think the price and the delivery. Well, really interesting to get a sense of uh, the contribution, if you like, of the cosmetics industry to the UK economy. Very interesting to talk to you, Caroline Neville, President of Cosmetic Executive Women UK. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, so just want to focus on the markets now. It's the second day of gains for European stocks, although investors